everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to do a really quick video. Um, it filmed on Video Works Live just because I really want to do this really quick video just to get a video up for you guys before I go to guides tonight. So I'm going to be doing a video on how to clean your um, makeup sponge. Let's go. See, as you might know, this is my makeup sponge I got for Christmas. It's very dirty. I might be getting a new one when I go shopping next week, but I don't know because look. It's like getting really gross, but um, I'm gonna wash it and see how it is. And if it's like nice, I will get a new one. But yeah, I really like it. It's really nice. I also need a new foundation. But it does, if you keep the instructions on the back, it does say how to wash it. Sorry about that, my dad just came in. But it says on the instructions here that if you keep the little box, it says there what the instructions says care and safely advice. Regularly wash the sponge with a mild shampoo. I've not like wash this at all so when i got it, it was december so that's a long time ago well not really it's only april but yeah um regularly wash the sponge with a mild shampoo and warm water rinse thoroughly and allow to air dry keep away from distance on that and heat so it says keep away from enough i think of that because it'll get like too hot and might burn your skin if you use it or it'll melt so we are going to do the exact instructions as this. I don't know what it means by mild shampoo, but I do have, a sh I have two in one shampoo, but that's not really helpful. Guys, also this is dead slimy. Don't know if you think it's this slimy. Yeah, I'm going to get what, all the things I need. Hey okay, guys, so I have my shampoo here, I have my tap, which you guys are kind of sitting on. I'm going to fill it up with warm water. I don't think it's going to be warm, but it's going to like, be nice and you meant to like, you oh know, wash the sponge with my shampoo and more water. Just says that. I don't really know if you should add it onto there, mix it or put it in. I don't know. I'm going to wait for this to like get hot and put it up. It's not very warm but it's, it'll do. It'll like get clean I think. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop it in there and just let it like soak a little bit. Oh gosh, even without like anything, all of the foundation is coming out. Ew, it's making the water like brown. It also fills up with like water. So, I'll give you guys a close up now. So I have this where my iPad was, but hello. But um, yeah, so I'm just gonna dry my hands. Okay. I've got, this is what the water looks like, pretty good, so it looks like mud, but it's already kind of getting really nice. Just a little top bit there, but you can tell really loads. If you just squeeze it a little bit, most of it comes out. But I'm not going to add this to it somehow, so I'll put you guys somewhere where you can see. You can see perfectly here, hopefully you don't fall, but um gonna add some of this shampoo. I don't know what brand it is, it should say there, but if you wanna pause the video and say, just get this. So I'm just gonna put it on my hand, I don't know how much you need. I'm gonna put this on my hand. This is what I made for a slime video once. I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna like, put it in there, I don't know. It didn't really say, it just said wash with a mild shampoo. I don't know why you use shampoo in, instead of soap, but like, Pretty slippery, but I guess it's to help it. Maybe it won't. It'll won't help your skin too. Well, a little bit of top just came off. Actually, this is really helping. I wouldn't. I didn't think this would help that much, but you can kind of see all of that. Look at that, guys! One way how to make it squishy. I don't think it would last very long though. That's actually like a big difference. I think I'm gonna like get some water out. And this isn't even warm, it's like warm temperature. I'm just gonna get fill some more water up, guys, and then I'll get back to you guys when it's fully done. Here's the, here's the beauty blender, as you can see. It needs to air dry when you're done because obviously it's gonna be like, it's gonna be like surprising and squishy. So yeah, it's really getting warm now, so that's a good fact. So I have my beauty blender color. Covered in some um, shampoo, and this is really nice warm water. I added some shampoo into the water, so that's a little bit cleaner. See what comes out of this. 
if I was on the big iPad, uh, this would have been way better, but I would have speed this bit up, but I'm sorry guys, I'm not, the big iPad is sadly not charged. I can actually see the reflection from the mirror, so I can see that I'm filming. I think it's good. Um, I don't think I'm going to get any, like, more of this, any, like, more makeup out of this, but I think I did pretty good. Because it was kind of worked for. In the directions it says um, rinse thoroughly and allow to air dry so I'm going to do that and I'll get back to you guys. If anyone's wondering, here's my beauty blender. It's full up with a lot of water so I'm going to mostly squeeze this all out and try and squeeze all the water and shampoo out of it. So then when I like get to like air dry and like when it like fully does it, it won't like this but I might have to show you guys this in another video or probably my vlog for tomorrow. I'm sorry about that. Hey guys so this is probably the end of the video because I can't really show you anymore unless I just don't upload this but I want to upload it. But here's the, I'm sorry in the bath by the way but here's Beauty Blender. I think it turned out pretty good. It's just going to air dry. I actually did dry it a little bit onto the towel. Um, it did say to air dry but didn't say anything about drying on a towel, so um, I'm just gonna let this air dry now and all the water's out. It's still a little bit squishy and so rising, but um, it should go back to its normal self soon. So, if you guys have got this brand, which is the Flutter Blend from Super Jug or Boots, um, go get it because it has amazing instructions on the back if you don't watch this video. But you should, um, it has amazing instructions on the back so you know how to do it. You have to watch the video. Um, and the beauty blend itself is really good, even though that came off, that's just me. I was kind of, one day it was coming off, so I plucked it and all this came off. That wasn't so good, but it comes out of case um, and box and keep it because it's always good for washing your beauty blend. So thanks for watching, please click like and subscribe. And if you like this video, give it a big old thumbs up. I want this video to be, come, I want this video to have at least five likes. If you can get it more, that'd be great. Please subscribe and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.